In today's video, we are going to discuss the exploding trade collectible card market. This year, musician Post Malone purchased the Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings one ring card for 2 million US dollars. Last year at WrestleMania 38, it was confirmed that Logan Paul had broken the record for the most expensive Pokemon trading card. Sold at a private sale with a highly desired PSA Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card that set him back 5.275 million US dollars. Even Patrick Bet David, the influential businessman and minority stakeholder of the New York Yankees baseball team, claims to have invested over 1 million US dollars for his current baseball card collection. We ask ourselves, are collectible cards good alternative investments or is it another bubble waiting to pop? What's up guys, Luke Wilson here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss everything finance. In recent years, trading cards have emerged as a unique and appealing alternative investment option, captivating the attention of both seasoned investors and enthusiasts alike. Beyond their recreational value, trading cards, including sports cards, Pokemon cards and other collectibles, have demonstrated their potential yield to substantial returns. We will delve into the reasons why trading cards have gained recognition as great alternative investments, highlighting their historical performance, market dynamics and factors influencing their value. Origins and early days. The concept of trading cards emerged in the late 19th century, primarily as promotional tools for products such as cigarettes, chewing gum and tea. However, it was not until the early 20th century that sports cards began to gain popularity. Cards featuring baseball players like Honus Wagner and Ty Cobb were included in cigarette packs and quickly became prized possessions due to their limited production and scarcity. These early instances laid the foundation for the future value appreciation of collectible trading cards. Historical performance. Trading cards rise as alternative investments can be attributed to their remarkable historical performance, particularly sports cards from legendary athletes like Babe Ruth and Michael Jordan have achieved astonishing price appreciation over the years. For instance, a 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle rookie card, once worth a modest sum, sold for a record-breaking 5.2 million US dollars in 2021. This example showcases how certain trading cards have outperformed traditional investment vehicles such as stocks and bonds. Market dynamics. Several market dynamics contribute to trading card status as alternative investments. One key factor is scarcity. Limited production runs, specific card grades, and iconic players all contribute to the rarity of certain cards, driving demand and subsequent price increases. Additionally, trading cards' tangible nature appeals to collectors, fostering emotional connections and a sense of ownership that other investments might lack. The role of pop culture. The influence of pop culture has significantly boosted trading card investments. Iconic franchises like Pokemon have captured the imagination of generations, maintaining their relevance through video games, movies and TV shows. This continuing engagement ensures that demand for related trading cards remains robust, maintaining or even increasing their value over time. The nostalgia factor further fuels interest as adults seek to recapture fond memories of their youth. Factors influencing value. The value of trading cards is influenced by several factors, including card condition, player performance, historical significance, and cultural impact. Cards in mint condition command higher prices due to their rarity, as even slight wear and tear can significantly diminish their value. Player performance, both current and historical, can drastically impact card prices. A player's induction into a Hall of Fame or a record-breaking achievement often leads to increased demand for their cards. The potential benefits. Trading cards as investments present several potential benefits. Number one, appreciation in value. Historical trends have shown that certain trading cards can appreciate significantly over time, offering the potential for substantial returns on investment. Here are a few notable examples of collectible trading cards that have experienced significant appreciation in value over the years. Number one, 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle rookie card. Wildly regarded as one of the most iconic baseball cards in history, the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle rookie card has seen substantial value appreciation. In 1988, a Gem Mint 10 graded version of this card 
was valued at around 3,000 US dollars. Fast forward to recent years and the same card in similar condition has fetched prices exceeding 5 million US dollars in auctions. Number two, 1986 to 87 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card. Michael Jordan's rookie card from 1986 to 87 Fleer basketball set has become synonymous with sports value appreciation. A PSA Gem Mint 10 graded Jordan rookie card, which was once attainable for a few hundred dollars, has surged to become a six figure card, with record prices reaching several hundred thousand dollars. Number three on the list, 1993 Magic the Gathering Alpha Black Lotus card. Magic the Gathering is a collectible card game and one of its most highly desired cards is the Black Lotus from the Alpha set. In 2019, a PSA Gem Mint 10 graded Alpha Black Lotus card sold for over 511,000 US dollars in a public auction, showcasing the substantial appreciation of certain trading cards from the gaming world. And four on the list is Pokemon First Edition Charizard card. The first edition holographic Charizard card from the original Pokemon trading card game set has become an iconic collectible. While this card was originally part of a kid's game, its rarity and popularity among Pokemon fans have led to the impressive value appreciation. A Gem Mint 10 graded first edition Charizard card can command prices well into the five figure range. The second benefit of investing in trading cards is diversification. Collectible trading cards have historically exhibited a low correlation with traditional investment assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate. This means that their value trends and performance are often independent of broader market movements. As a result, adding collectible cards to your portfolio can help reduce the overall risk exposure to market volatility. The third benefit of investing in trading cards is Global accessibility. The accessibility of trading collectible cards online has revolutionized the collectibles market, enabling enthusiasts, collectors, and investors from around the world to engage in buying, selling, and trading with unprecedented ease. This shift has democratized the market, creating a global community of individuals who can participate in the hobby and investment opportunities, regardless of their geographic location. Let's take a closer look at the global accessibility of trading collectible cards online. Global Marketplace Platforms Online marketplaces like eBay, Etsy and TCG Player have transformed the way collectible cards are bought and sold. These platforms provide virtual space where individuals can list their cards, set prices and conduct transactions. As a result, collectors and investors from different corners of the globe can connect fostering a global exchange of collectible cards. Auction houses and consignment services. High profile auction houses such as Heritage Auctions, Sotheby's and Christie's have established online platforms where rare and valuable collectible cards are auctioned to a worldwide audience. Consignment services offered by these auction houses allow collectors to submit their cards for potential inclusion in prestigious auctions, attracting bidders from various countries. Online trading communities. Specialized online forums, social media groups, and websites dedicated to collectible cards provide a space for enthusiasts to interact, share information, and engage in trades. These communities transcend borders, allowing collectors to connect and trade with like-minded individuals globally. Professional grading services. Grading companies like PSA offer online submission processes. Collectors can send their cards for professional grading and authentication, regardless of their location. The considerations and drawbacks. While the allure of trading card investments is compelling, potential investors must also consider the drawbacks. Number one is volatility. Volatility in the collectible card market refers to the rapid and sometimes unpredictable fluctuation in prices of trading cards. While collectible cards can offer significant value appreciation over time, they are not immune to market shifts and trends that can lead to periods of both rapid growth and decline. Here are the factors contributing to the volatility in the collectible card market. Market trends and popularity. The collectible card market can be influenced by trends and fads. Cards associated with popular players, franchises, or cultural phenomena can experience rapid price increases as demand surges. Conversely, when trends change or fade, prices can drop just as swiftly. 
The second factor of volatility is player performance. In sport card collecting, the performance of athletes can have a direct impact on card prices. A player's performance, injury or retirement can lead to significant price shifts for their cards. For example, if a highly touted rookie player doesn't live up to the expectation, their card prices may plummet. The third factor of volatility is nostalgia and fads. Collectible cards often tap into nostalgia, which can create short-term spikes in demand driven by sentiment. However, once initial excitement falls off, prices may drop as the nostalgic effect wears off. The fourth factor of volatility is speculation and investment. As more investors enter the collectible card market seeking profits, speculation can drive up prices artificially. This can lead to inflated prices that are unsustainable in the long term. If the speculative bubble bursts, prices can crash. Is supply and demand dynamics. Rarity and scarcity plays a significant role in collectible card prices. If a card supply suddenly increases due to a new discovery of a large collection hitting the market, it can drive prices down. Conversely, if demand spikes for a limited supply card, prices can soar. Another factor for volatility is quality and condition. The condition of the card greatly influences its value. A higher grade card can command a premium, while lower grade cards might experience slower or limited price growth. Changes in a card's condition due to wear, damage or restoration can impact its value significantly. Moving on, the second drawback of investing in trading cards is the lack of liquidity. The lack of liquidity is a notable challenge within the collectible card market. Referring to the difficulty in quickly buying or selling cards at stable prices without significantly affecting their value. While the collectible card market has evolved and become more accessible, liquidity remains an issue due to several factors. The first factor being specialized market. The collectible card market is niche and specialized. This means that potential buyers and sellers are limited to those who have a specific interest in trading cards. This reduced pool of participants can make it harder to find matching buyers and sellers for specific cards. The second factor is fragmented nature. The market for collectible cards is fragmented with various sub-markets for different types of cards including sports, gaming and entertainment. This fragmentation can result in uneven demand and supply affecting the liquidity of certain cards. The third factor is high transaction costs. The cost associated with selling or buying collectible cards, such as transaction fees, shipping expenses and grading fees, can impact the attractiveness of quick transactions. These costs might lead participants to hold onto their cards longer or be more selective about their trading choices. The third drawback of investing in trading cards is expertise needed. Trading card investing, while potentially lucrative, requires a certain level of expertise to navigate the complexities of the market effectively. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a new investor, developing expertise in trading card investing is crucial for making informed decisions and maximizing your returns. Here are the key areas where your expertise is needed. Number one, market knowledge. Understanding the dynamics of the trading card market is essential. This includes being aware of trends, demand cycles, historical performance of specific cards and the factors driving card values. Staying updated with market news, price trends and shifts in popularity can help you make informed investment choices. Number two, authentication and grading. Knowledge of authentication and grading processes is vital, especially for high value cards. Learning how to identify counterfeit cards and understanding the grading scale used by companies like PSA is crucial for assessing a card's condition and potential value accurately. The third factor then is player and franchise knowledge. For sports cards, having an understanding of a player's present and future performances and the historical significance of athletes can help you identify cards with investment potential. Similarly, Knowing about popular franchises and characters is crucial for other collectible card categories. In conclusion, trading cards have cemented their position as great alternative investments due to the factors we discussed in this video. As more investors recognize the allure of trading cards, it is likely that their status as alternative investments will continue to evolve and prosper in the years to come. As with any investment, a balanced approach is essential. 
Considering trading cards as a supplementary component of a diversified portfolio rather than a sole strategy. Ultimately, the viability of trading cards as investments rests on a person's understanding of the market, willingness to commit time and effort and capacity to tolerate the inherent risks associated with collectible investments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.